Hi everyone, Connor from Zenfinex here. And for those who are new to this channel, I'm the senior market analyst at the company. I regularly provide videos on various different markets and today I'm going to be covering a market that does not seem to get much attention on the retail trading front, but is actually really important in the economy. That is the copper market, which has been on a remarkable run over the last 12 months. I'm going to talk about why copper is important and then give my prediction for 2022. Enjoy. Okay, for those who are unaware, as it may be your first time looking at copper, um, I would recommend trading it as well. It's a great uh, commodity to trade. It's a very versatile commodity and it has a wide range of applications which makes it valuable. Uh, the most common are its importance to the electrical power industry as well as electronic product manufacturing and the production of industrial machinery. Now this is because it's a real, really efficient uh, conductor of electricity and heat and I'm sure you learned that. Uh, back in your science classes at school and copper is also used for many other things like construction projects or transportation vehicles and it's even in cookware as well. A factor I mentioned in my 2021 forecast if you um, watched it back in April was that the demand for copper is often seen as a leading economic indicator so what this means is if demand for copper is increasing then it can be a sign that production is ramping up and therefore so is global GDP. The correlation between world trade slash GDP um, and copper prices is the reason that people call it Dr. Copper. So what can we expect for 2022? What can we expect for next year? Well, it's widely thought that the bearish macro drivers are going to dominate the copper market next year. This isn't good news for um, you copper bulls out there. It is expected there's going to be a slowdown in growth, especially in China. Uh, this is particularly the case in their construction sector, um, which is already falling already as per the recent reports. Now, the Chinese Construction Center is the largest copper end user in the world. And of course, the picture can change as stories develop throughout the year, but this is what's being predicted at the moment. Also, copper does perform uh, well when demand for goods is higher than the demand for services. When you think go, when you go back to the, uh, the uses of copper that I mentioned, these are all um, in goods rather than services. As we enter a post-pandemic world, uh, demand for services is going to increase dramatically and demand for goods are going to fall um, relative to the demand for services. Um, and this is going to damage copper prices if this is the case. Furthermore, when you look at the supply factors, um, and excuse me for the pronunciation, I've got this one written down, it's the Ivanhoe Mines Kamoa Kakula project in the Democratic Republic of Congo went into production this year and they're expected to significantly um, ramp up their supply in 2022 and this is due to the high prices uh, at the moment. Um, in fact, Capital Economics now expects the global copper market to enter a surplus of around 200,000 tonnes next year after four years of deficits. And there's no doubt that the longer time frame, i.e. the two to five year um, picture for copper is bullish, but for 2022, uh, the initial prediction is that prices are going to fall. Uh, let's take a look on the chart anyway to see if this view is justified within the price action. Okay, so on the chart for copper now, and as you can see, um, if I go back onto the daily chart quickly, um, we did open, we've had a really good year in copper. Um, you can see price action is stalling now, but what I find most significant is this subdued um, price action that we've had um, is showing a real slowdown of this real buying frenzy that we saw uh, really from right at the beginning of the year when we opened up at around this 3.5 level-ish and now we're trading up at 4.2 and we did touch uh, that 4.9 level. Um, we can see where we did rally and we tried to um, actually um, reach these, these highs up at around the 5 level um, but we dipped off significantly and we can see really that we've just been trading in this range. Hi guys, thank you for listening to this video. Just really quickly wanted to touch on a really exciting offer we have on the website. It's a limited time offer and if you head over to zenfinex.co.uk, you will see the offer in front of you straight away. And this is that you can trade Forex on a standard account with raw spread plus zero commission. And now Zenfinex is also an FCA and no dealing desk execution broker. If you are interested in this offer, you can get in touch with the team by clicking learn more or you can simply go to open an account where you can start the application process. Which I'm marking for you now. Um, since since May. Um, so that's a sign to me that price action is starting to slow down. You can see that potentially um, we've got this uh, double top or triple top being formed. And more significantly for 2022, if you have a look at this price action on the weekly chart, yep, the range is still there. Um, we have a really significant level. We have, of course, we have the highs where if anyone was looking to sell the market, 
liquidity buy side liquidity will be here so if I just put text buy side liquidity and we also have sell side liquidity here So anyone who is looking to buy the market, any copper balls out there who are buying the market, um, I mean you might not, but I could bet you potentially have your stop losses just below these swing lows here around 3.9, which makes complete sense. Uh, we're at a significant level now where on the weekly chart we're at the 50 uh, moving average. Could we get a bounce up there and potentially, because this is a really long term picture, um, before the end of the year will we get one more surge higher um, just to test these highs, potentially wick into these highs and then we can start to look lower. Now my target for 2022 um, initially is where we've got this, if I zoom right in, where we've got this um, sell side liquidity sitting underneath here, all this money sitting underneath, we also have this inefficient pricing, which to me, in my uh, style of trading, uh, FEG fair value gap that stands for, in my style of trading, um, this is a magnet to prices. So you can see where we had this surge to the upside, it left inefficient pricing in behind and I'm looking for prices to at least come through and test this level, potentially going down onto the um, 100 moving average, this is on the weekly chart. Um, when this could happen maybe um, as we approach Q2 of next year, um, but I'm going to keep this on the chart um, so we know what we're looking out for. So I can mark this now as our take profit one. That's, how to, that's my um, target for 2022. Anything below there, if we were, were to have a, a rockier month in a rockier year, sorry, in copper, then the next level that we can aim for um, would be potentially this weekly order block that we have here. Take profit two around the 3.4 level. Um, I will do some more research and I'll provide an update um, on where the price action is looking at the moment but ideally what I'd like to see is I'd like to see the market come up and, and wick above these highs I know it's um, a long shot even maybe these highs here so if I copy and paste that you see this high market high we have here there would be some liquidity and some some stop losses sitting in here as well so we have two levels and um, we could go and get a rebound off of this 50 day moving average up and wicking into this um, uh, into this buy side liquidity and then we have this real move down which I'm expecting where we break structures to the downside and we break this 50 day moving average and prices magnet towards this inefficient pricing um, and then potentially this weekly order block here. That's the main outlook for me, this is just a look on the daily chart and again the picture is exactly the same, um, it's still targeting these lows um, around 3.4 and also this inefficient pricing that we have in here. That's my outlook for copper so far for 2022. I'll provide an update on this um, as and when, but initially um, I see copper sitting around this 3.4, uh, 3 to 3.4 level by the end of 2022, uh, due to the factors that I've mentioned on the um, fundamental side. And also this is the price action I'm hoping for um, on the weekly chart for copper. If you've enjoyed this forecast, if you have any other opinions on this forecast, make sure you drop your comments in on the comment section. Really happy to hear other people's opinions on this one. Um, it's an interesting market for sure after such a great year. Make sure you've got your notifications turned on so you don't miss any updates. And you've also liked and subscribed to the channel as it does help boost our channel. Other than that, I hope everyone has a great uh, 2022 trading the copper market. It does provide some great opportunities. And I'll be back with more forecasts soon. Take care. Thank you.